Where are they getting the fluoride? The fluoride that they get is a byproduct of the phosphate fertilizer industry, and it's called hydrofluorosilicic acid. So as a byproduct of the phosphate fertilizer industry, it's considered a hazardous waste, and it's very expensive to dispose of. But they have found that if diluted in theory and put, it's an acid, first of all. So if it's put into our water system, it is so diluted that it becomes safe. But I will say, it, you know, everyone can go research this and look at themselves, but it does come in like cement bags with skull and crossbones on the front and they do have to wear hazmat suits to put it into our water. Um, They're supposed to titrate it. And I think what's interesting, you know, we're supposed to target 0.7 milligrams per liter. Um, I've been involved in some educational campaigns and and have tested communities surrounding Portland. It's very hard to keep it in range, you know, and so there are some communities testing as high. We've seen as 2.2 milligrams per liter, which definitely falls into based on the the science and literature, more concerning zone for neurocognitive issues and other health issues. So um, if you're concerned, you can call your local water um, bureau, municipality. I will say, I don't think the federal government's going to have much control over this. It would be nice if the EPA stepped in. Um, They have appealed, by the way, Uh, but it will come down to more like on the state level and local level. And we're already seeing states like Florida and Utah um, have run it through an initial 